And this little guy right here is on the mend this Thanksgiving. The animal rescue group who picked him up says it's one of the worst cases of mange they've ever seen. His recovery is not going to be cheap, and as I found out, because of the pandemic, rescue groups are struggling to get by, and they need your help. His name is Chris. With visible scabs and plenty of hair missing from his body, it may be hard to believe, but Chris is doing much better thanks to the Res Dog Rescue Group and his new foster mom, Jillian Rains. He's definitely probably the worst case of mange I ever saw, and he definitely needed some help. When Chris first came to stay with Rains and her other dogs, it was a rough transition. Really, within a week, he's had a huge transformation. He's really just opened up and blossomed. The founder of Res Dog Rescue, Angela Searcy, found Chris at a shelter in Gallup, New Mexico, and took him to Colorado. The move potentially saved Chris's life. Sometimes down in uh, the Four Corners, the vets see so much of these um, these heavy cases that, you know, their first instance is like, okay, why don't we just euthanize that one when there's not really any need, especially in a case like Maine. Multiple times per year for more than a decade, Res Dog Rescue heads south. On average, we, we transport in uh, from the New Mexico, Arizona, kind of Four Corners region, about 1,700 animals dogs, cats, occasional rabbit. This year, they've already exceeded that number. The pandemic has created a backlog of animals in the four corners needing care. You know, animal control buildings were shut down for like two months, you know, on the Navajo reservation. While the need for Res Dog and their volunteers has never been higher, their donations have never been lower. You know, I'm seeing less less checks in, in, the, in the mail. Xerxes says donations are down about 40% from last year and care for innocent animals like Chris come at a high price for a dog in his condition depending on how well he bounces back i mean upwards of 800 bucks um and that's kind of on the lower side hey guys come on despite the well running dry the rescue will continue to do everything they can for chris and so many like him and seeing him have fun and wag his tail and running up and down is just amazing and on this day of thanks and giving, Res Dog Rescue could use your help. If you'd like to make a tax-deductible donation to help them out, just head over to thedenverchannel.com and click Denver 7 Gives and find the Res Dog Rescue drop-down menu. 100% of the proceeds will go to the rescue.